hey hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is omsi reddy today in this video we are going to discuss about essential syllabus for 2024 batch so you are already already waiting for this video i think so right so everyone is looking what exactly the pattern is for the written test exam so for the age what type of roles they give by the essential so these are the things and confusions everyone have i know so that's why i'm making this video this video is all about to what are the roles and uh, giving for the high center as a half campus and what are the test pattern what are the topics you need to learn for the essential everything completely in this video we are going to discuss so if you like this video please like share and subscribe you are watching a new person so let's go into that so here the essential essential is off campus hiring it's a dynamic opportunities for the aspiration professionals to join one of the world leading constitute so it is a simply uh, definition about the essential how the essential is uh, giving this it's a great opportunity for the freshers or the graduates who are uh, early waiting for the it related jobs so here the essential if you want to need more about uh, the syllabus and the test pattern for 2023 sorry 2024 scroll down to drive so firstly we will look at censure offering two roles for the freshers one is associate software engineer and another one is advanced associate software engineer it is a two roles and with different packages for associate software engineer they are offering 4.5 lpa per annum so here the advanced associate software engineer they are offering 6.5 lpa so here, uh, why why there is it's a different. So if you have a more skills and more advanced skills, you can go for the advanced associate software engineer. That is simply A A S E. So after the clearing the exam of uh, A S A, like associate software engineer, you have eligibility to write the exam of advanced associate software engineer to get a 6.5 lakhs of LPA per annum. So it is uh, quite differences. So eligibility is more important. You need to solve the first, like you need to clear the first entrance test associate software engineer. At the time only you are eligible for to write the advanced associate software engineer. So in advanced associate software engineer, there is advanced uh, topics, everything. If you have a, like uh, you have a great knowledge about, uh, you have great skills to work on that, you can go for associate software engineer. Uh, definitely you can select for that. So for this this year that uh, hiring of 2024 graduate essential has made some changes in their hiring pattern again as the past page below so there is a totally five rounds of interview the uh, essential is offering for everyone first round cognitive ability and second one technical ability third one coding fourth one communication assignment fifth one final it's a final round and that is interview so this is a five rounds of interview as uh, like uh, Accenture is offering for the graduates who are apply who are uh, applying for the Accenture company. So let's move into the detail. So here the detail of information about questions and timing, how much time and how what are the questions that came in these rounds. So first cognitive ability, we get 50 questions and we have 50 minutes of time. That means for each question, we have only one minute. So within a one minute, like it is a MCKQs, multiple choice. So you can answer within a one minute of time. You have 50 minutes of time to uh, solve the 50 questions. And next one is technical ability. So technical ability, we have 40 questions and the time is also 40, 40 minutes. So for each question, we have only one minute of time to solve the question. So after that, we have coding section. In this coding section, there is a two, only two questions are uh, offering the time is 45 minutes for the two questions so within the 45 minutes we need to complete the two questions that is most important so and the next one is communication assignment this is a uh, another section they have testing the communication levels of a candidate there is no, nearly 20 to 25 questions and the time duration is 20 minutes maximum 20 to 25 minutes uh, like 50 to 50 minutes, seconds of a time for the each question they are offering Maximum 20 to 25 questions is uh, present in this section and the time is 20 minutes. So this about the round and questions and time. So let move into the detail topic wise. What are the syllabus you need to learn for the online test for 2024? So for online test, we have the topics are English ability, critical reasoning and solving problem, abstract reasoning, common applications and 
MS Office, Pressure Code, and Fundamentals of Network Security and Cloud, and finally Coding Now. So for English ability, we got 17 questions. Critical logic, you know, reasoning and problem solving, we got 18 questions. So abstract reasoning, 15. Common application and MS Office, 12 questions. Pseudocode, we got 18 questions. Fundamentals of networking and security and cloud, we get 10 questions. Coding interview, we have two questions. So this is in detail of topic wise the questions have. So before going for the exam, you need to keep in mind what are the important information. So first one is intersection navigation is allowed in this uh, exam. Like you are writing one section of coding. So you simply directly go for the other section. So you can come back to the other section. There is a inter selections. So you have a allowed in the exam and there is no negative marks for the wrong answers. It is the most important. So, so many are thinking that so negative marks are uh, okay. There is no negative marks for the wrong answers. And the final is total time duration is two hours, 30 minutes of time to complete this exam. This is the important thing. So keep it in mind. And next go for the what exactly the test syllabus required for the 2024 graduates. First one, continuity to assignment. The quantitative assignment is a design to test the candidate ability to process and interpret information, solve the problems and make the decision. So this is the main, this is the thing, this assignment will be get one. So here the main aim of the things to eliminate the candidates who are not eligible for this type of assignments also. And there is no negative marks in this section. So here the subtopics what we need to read or what you need to clear. So English ability is most important, critical reasoning and problem solving is important and abstract reasoning is also important. These three topics will be needed for this uh, cognitive assignments. And next one is technical assignment. So in technical assignment, it is used to design the candidate of technical powers and understand the various software applications, programming concepts and networking principles. So the main aim, aim of this uh, assignment is to find the like how the candidate have the knowledge of software applications, programming concepts and networking principles. Main aim, what this is the main aim of this uh, technical assignment. Here the topic you need to cover that uh, common applications under MS Office, pseudocode, networking, security and cloud. These are the topics you need to cover for, to clear this uh, exam. And finally we have coding. We are, we are all know that the coding section is designed to assign the candidate how much of programming skills, understanding the coding practice principles and focus on the fundamentals of programming, flowcharts, conditional loops, everything many more they are required. So this is a main aim to get this uh, coding. So here the coding is also one of the elimination rule and there is no need to marks for the coding. Okay. And up to now, we have discussed about these some of the concepts which are required for the asset. So now we are going to discuss the in detail, like each and every topic which are required for the Accenture exam. So here, the first one is verbal abilities. So for verbal abilities, you have required these topics to cover like sentence correction, idioms, frames, speeches, tenses, articles, uh, prepositions, grammar. These are the, all topics are required for the verbal abilities. You want to uh, complete the verbal entity topic. So you need to complete this whole subtopics. At the time only you have get a perfect idea about verbal ability. And next one is analytical reason. And uh, analytical reason, there is uh, some topics to note ar like arrangement, interpret meaning, logical sequence, blade relation, statement and conclusions, analogs, Decode, coding, and decoding, argue, and agree and disagree, etc. So these are the topics you need to cover for the analytical reason. And one more, next one topic is abstract reasoning. So abstract reasoning is you need to know these four subtopics like visual, visual reasoning, directional sense, flowcharts, visual reasoning, DI, sitting arrangements. These are the topics you need to cover to hold the things. And and one more and most important aptitude, aptitude like numerical ability that is known as aptitude so aptitude we have a lot of uh, topics subtopics you need to cover each and every topic in this uh, aptitude at a time only you can able to solve the aptitude questions and from coming from the technical 
technical related assignments we need to solve the pseudo code common applications and ms office and fundamentals of network these are the things are main important and finally the coding you need to require this at least one or one language like c c plus plus java python dot net and data searches so data searches is most important for the each and every programming language so mostly uh, i prefer for the python and java most of the candidates are using python and java i prefer so these are the topics required for preparing this essential exam so here uh, to find that uh, next in next video i am going to give you what are the actual the questions as a as a student or a graduate you are have a doubts related to the this uh, essential exam next video i will able to solve that things so for this thing i hope you are all get a clear understanding about this essential exam so here uh, we are providing some coding questions in the youtube playlist i will give the link in description also in python and upcoming we are going to solve the like same coding questions in java also within next uh, thing we are starting the next playlist on this thing so now up to now we are working on the python playlist to solve the pseudo codes and how the programming codes work on that python these are the things we are right now we are doing so i hope you are all understand this uh, video about essential syllabus for 2024 so go and get apply and get a dream job if you are getting a job please make comment thank you bye bye